If you're joining today, you're here to look at an example of how we can determine the mass of a substance based on the number of molecules that we have of that particular substance. So in this case, we want to know in this specific example, what is the mass of 6.894 times 10 to the 24 molecules of sucrose? Sucrose is a sugar, the common type of sugar that we use on our uh, drinks and things like that. So C12H22O11 is our formula. Now, if you remember what we've talked about previously, um, we know that from a number of molecules, we can find a number of moles. And from a number of moles, we can determine what the mass would be. So we've sort of got a couple steps in here that we need to tackle. So let's start by first determining the number of moles. Find moles. Okay, so we know number of particles. Let's give it in the question. And we know Avogadro's constant. So we know that there would be that many molecules of our sugar per mole of the sugar. So once we've got that information, we can find our number of moles. Remember our formula is N divided by Avogadro's constant. So we're going to take 6.894 times 10 to the 24th, and divide it by 6.022 times 10 to the 23. And when we do the math, we will get 11.44 three, nine moles. Now we don't want to round yet. We're not at our final answer, but that's how many moles of sucrose we have. So now we want to go and find our mass, right? So to do this, we need our moles, which we just calculated, 11.448 zero two three nine and we need the molar mass of sucrose and this is where the chemical formula comes into play so let's figure that out we know we're going to have 12 times the molar mass of carbon plus 22 times the molar mass of hydrogen plus 11 times the molar mass of oxygen right so we're going to have 12 point 0, 01 times 12 plus 22 times 1.01 .01 plus 11 times 16. And that will give us a molar mass, which we need to find moles with, of 342.34 grams per mole. So once we have moles and we have molar mass, we can find the mass. Right, that's our job. So mass equals moles times molar mass. So 11.448239 times our molar mass of 342.34 grams per mole. And when we calculate the mass, we get 3,919.1165 grams. Wow, that's a lot of sugar. Now, um, we want to report this with the right number of significant digits. So we look back at our given information, and we see that the number of molecules had four significant digits, as shown here. Um, we see the 6, 8, 9, and 4 are all significant. Avogadro's constant had four significant digits, so our final answer should have four significant digits. So we want to round this to 3,919 grams.
And that's our final solution to this problem.